I'm very convinced that if we speak technologically, there isn't a single solution to any particular area. Uh, it, it just it it comes about from the characteristics of the waste, the uh, the social, religious, uh, political aspects of the area that will demand uh, a different solution. And that's been one of the one of the main issues with uh, some of the technologies that uh, uh, people go to different countries and try to sell the same package to to uh, the same system to different countries, and they can go and name a whole lot of them. And on top of that, you said that the law of thermodynamics. You would be surprised how many people know about thermodynamics and learn the laws of thermodynamics. And they wouldn't even know what a joule is. I, I, I know some of the colleagues didn't know what a joule was, and they were talking about thinking about diamonds, not a joule. So <laughs> you can fall off the chair when you talk about people in, with energy and then selling these systems. They don't have they don't have any idea what they're talking about. I actually completely agree with Luis. I think there's local solutions to local dynamics. Um, and we, you know, we operate around the world in, in Asia, Europe, and the U.S., and, and more and more being pulled into developing countries, as you were learning last week with uh, in Hong Kong. Um, the, uh, the other point I'd like to make that was alluded to by yeah. uh, a few of you earlier, and, and you, I think it was uh, Louise that mentioned uh, the Bay Area. We both live, I think, in the Bay Area. Louise, I think you do. Um, I live in Lafayette, Mike. I don't know where you live. At Walnut Creek, we're next door neighbors. Oh, well, we're neighbors. <laughs> Great. Well, I'll come and see you one of these days. Okay. Um, <laughs> San Francisco has a fantastic, what they call a diversion rate, and I'm glad they appropriately call it a diversion rate because they divert a lot of the waste from landfill, and they do an extremely good job of it. And I think the operators in San Francisco actually are very are excellent operators. But I want to be clear on what U.S. does with most of, much of its waste, and particularly the stuff I care about, the plastics is divert it and trade it to developing countries often, and mostly developing countries. Mm -hmm. And that diversion rate does not translate to a recycling rate by any means. Only a portion of that material is recycled. The rest is either discarded, um, maybe burned for energy recovery, usually not, usually burned just to get rid of it. Uh, and often a lot of it just ends up uh, back in our oceans, and I think many of the people probably on the call, and certainly our panelists know about the problems that uh, plastic waste represents in the ocean. So it actually starts with the mismanagement of our waste, I believe, and looking as trading it to places that not don't necessarily have the technology in place to handle the complex streams, because what we trade is the most complex materials. We recycle the easy stuff, of course, because it's easy, and we trade the difficult stuff, and I call it environmental arbitrage. We take advantage of less stringent environmental regulations for low-cost processing in developing countries. Uh, Europe doesn't allow that. Even I'm sitting here in British Columbia, Canada. Canada uh, does not really allow that uh, anymore, and I'm hoping that the U.S. starts taking more responsibility for its waste yeah. and starts looking at it as a resource as well. Well, I, th I think it's really um, almost comical to try to suggest that there could be with uh, you know so many differences in the waste itself from place to place. Uh, there's no one system that can manage it. You've got different moisture contents, um, different actual makeups of the waste to where uh, in certain places in developing nations it's completely picked over and there's very little value left in it. In other ones, there's more stuff in it than you could ever dream of. Um, you know, you, it co really comes down to what are the real needs of that municipality you're working with. Right. And to suggest that one um, technology could manage all that is, that'd have to be a pretty magical technology.